I know people have had issues with with the buckling of wheels and and, and things like that. So it's it's, it's not ideal. It's pretty bad. You, I mean, if you try and dodge the potholes, you're causing a hazard to other vehicles. Definitely bad. Right, horrible, to be quite honest. The main road in Ancaster, and it seems everyone here has a story about the problems its potholes are causing. Some poor lad came through with his family, massive puncture, and he couldn't actually fix it because it was quite a new vehicle, so we was, yeah. went back and... I went back and got a jack and done it for him. The pile was huge. It must have been... Without a word of a lie, two and a half foot wide by about eight inches deep and it was a right angle. So it just shattered his rim, cracked the rim of his car and just ripped, ripped the tyre off. It's shaking the house to pieces when Laurie hits them. All the time patching the roof up. It's a, a rumble, it's like an earthquake, a little earthquake. But there's so many potholes, it's not just one bang, it's several. So with a can of white spray paint, somebody delivered their own New Year message to the council. We can't show some of the words or images that were painted at this time of night, but the general message was repair the road or the spray paint will be out again. Personally, I think it's quite funny. Um, I know some people are quite offended by the language, but if it gets attention, I think that's probably a good thing in the end. Well, the village must have upset the county council very badly. It's incredible. You can go two miles down the road and it's perfect condition, but in the village, terrible. Today, some of the New Year artwork was being covered up. In a statement, Lincolnshire County Council said it's a shame that somebody has defaced part of our county with graphic terms and that vital funds will have to be diverted for its cleanup. It did say crews are making temporary repairs to the parts worst affected and that these were ordered before the graffiti appeared. But when staff were on site, they were met with verbal abuse. And the council says a more thorough repair, which will involve a rebuild of the entire surface, is planned for March. Philip Norton, BBC Look North, Ancaster.